Giving our praise to yeah. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Hashem, Kadosh. Pay double honors to the elders and apostles at GMS. Say tastes and blessings to the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching his truth. All right, with GMS Memphis camp. Uh, got a quick lesson today going into um, the Most High uh, pointed power. Okay, because hey, the Lord is in control of all things, man. So he's the one that uh, uh, sets up power. Matter of fact, the brother get that word uh, pointed. I think I asked y'all about that earlier. But yeah, the Lord is the one who, who uh, sets everything up, man. You know, he's he's the one that's in full control, man. We're just, uh, you know, uh, going along with the program. Lord willing, we're on the right side of the Lord's judgment, man. God. You know, so... Um, we're going to bring out some scriptures, and Lord willing, this will be an edifying lesson for the elect. Yeah. <laughs> this is appointed in the New Oxford American Dictionary. It says, of a time or place decided on beforehand, designated. It says, assign a job or role to someone. Mm -hmm. Assign a job or role to someone. Hey, but hey, did not he call us in this truth? Brother can hold, what is that, John 15? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you are not chosen me, but I have chosen you. All right, the Lord set us up. He appointed us to do this. All right, to to uh, uh, call out to our people, man. Israel, this is a, is an uh, important job that we're doing. Okay, it's, it's, it's being men of the Lord and being prophets, being the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father. Okay, speaking the things that others uh, are not being um, so-called PC Israelites, but just speaking the truth. Uh, you got it, bro. Uh, I had to grab another definition, too. This okay. is uh, makingkingdomministries.com, and the word appointed goes into to be appointed means to be put in an office in order to function fully and accomplish a task. Mm. Put in an office and what, bro? Put in an office in order to function fully and accomplish a task. And accomplish a task, man. Okay, ultimately, man, the, the, the office that we've been put in is the office of uh, uh, men of the Lord, who are prophets, man, who are to speak the words of the Heavenly Father, how about Shema Shah before his return, okay? That's that's our job, man. That's what we are appointed to do. Brother can hold Jeremiah as well. You got it? Yeah, hey, I got a precept. You got it? It's Matthew 28, 18. And Yahweh Shah came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I had commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's beautiful, bro. Hey, hey, we're, we're called to tell tell the people about our Heavenly Father. How about Shema Shai? Give them the truth. All right? Uncut, raw truth. No matter how it makes our people feel, man. Okay? that That's that's the job given. But you have certain Israelite groups, you know, that are, are, are sugarcoating. All right? They're, they're watering down the doctrine. Okay? And they're, they're, not, they're not giving the full truth. Okay, ultimately, man, they're 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 uh uh they're 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 basically hiding hiding keeping some of the word back, you know. <laughs> you taking away, you know, is what they're doing. Uh, and I want to get that power in the Greek because the Lord said to himself, "All power is given unto me." Right. You know, with the heavenly Father gave him that all power. You know. So this is the Greek for power. Let me play it. Exosia. <coughs> Exosia. It's that power of choice. Liberty of doing is one pleases. Mm. Yep. Let me see. Uh, the power of authority. See? 
Yep. The power of rule or government, the power of him whose will and commands must be submitted to by others and obeyed. That's why the scripture says how the Lord, Yahweh, everything has been put under Yahweh's feet. Right. Yeah. No, there is nothing that has not been put under his, his subjection, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. when you're subject to something, you have to yield to their authority. Right. Right, but that's not this. That's how it's so for the whole side, right? And he's given his men, you know, authority. Yeah. You know, here in the last days, <coughs> to speak the end, you know, of you know, into existence as exactly. we are prophesying the things that are going to happen before they happen. Yes, that's uh, it. Man. One more. It said authority over mankind. <laughs> it, it said the power of ju judicial uh, <coughs> decision. See? Yeah, authority over mankind. So that's given into who? You have a shot, man. All, like the brother just quote, you can get that in general too. All power has been given into yeah. into the heavenly father, man. Yeah, how about Shema Shah? It starts with him. And then what that that's that that's gonna be uh split up with among the elect. You know? Yeah. You got some? Yeah. This is our first John two and twenty. <laughs> but we have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. And you look that word unction goes into an anointing, right? So we have an anointing from the Holy One, from Yahweh by Shema Washai, and that's how we're able to understand this truth. That power has been appointed unto us. In verse 21, I have not written unto you because ye have not known the truth, but because ye know it. Right? And like Brother Skank in St. John the 15th chapter, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Yeah. Right? So the Lord chose, you know, certain men down here upon the planet Earth, you know, which we believe starting with the Apostle and those great millstone, to uh, put the, to push forth, you know, and to be Yahushua's ambassadors here in these last days. Right. I'm just finishing it off. <laughs> but because you know it, in that there is no lie of the truth. Right? So there's no lie of the truth. What we're speaking is 100% absolute power. Right? And with great power, you know, it say it comes with great responsibility. Right? So we have to make sure we are breaking down the scriptures directly and correctly. Right? Uh, not going off on the doctrine. Right. Right? As we are the Heavenly Father's uh, shepherds, you know? Mm -hmm. Speaking the right thing. So you got it. Is that John 5? Uh, John 5 and 22. Do you want yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. This is St. John 5 and 22. It says, For the Father judges no man, but have committed all judgment unto the Son. Mm -hmm. so, who? That's, that's your house shot, man. Mm -hmm. that's, that's who all the judgment, all the authority uh, 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 was appointed to, man. Okay. You got it. Verse 23, That all men shall honor the Son, even as they honor the father. Yeah. So hey, you can't you can't get around your house shot. Ain't mm -hmm. no going through them. You know, it, it's no just going straight to your howl. No, you gotta go through your house shot, man. You got it. It says that all men should honor the son, even as they honor the father. He that honor not the son, honor not the father, See? which have sent him. See? If you, if you don't honor your house shot, you're not honoring your house. So hey, hey, what, what is what is Sakari talking about, man? What the hell are these other groups uh, uh, talking about, man? Not worshiping your house shot, you know? <laughs> you 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 trying to uh, uh, you trying to skip a step, so to speak, to get you know what I'm saying get give themselves glory. They worried about themselves, and now you have shot, not giving giving him honor and praise, man. Trying glory. To come up some other way. Yeah, trying to come up some other way. <clears throat> I'm going to jump down to verse 26. On, bro. It says, For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and have given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Yep. Yeah, that's it, man. Mm -hmm. you know, hey, the, the authority has been given to, uh, to Yahweh Shai, man. Which, that, that's going to be given to us, man. That's uh, Romans 8, chapter Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna be joint heirs with him. The sufferings, everything he went through, we we're, we're going through it now. 
Amen. That way we can be, you know, looked at as as, as uh, brothers and, and friends unto the Lord. Yeah. You know? Uh get that in John 15, bro. 15. Yeah. Uh, but this is this is St. John chapter 15 and verse 16. It says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, yeah. and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Yeah. So it's it's ultimately, man, we, we didn't choose this. We didn't we didn't appoint ourselves in this position. To be a uh, uh, prophet, a man of the Lord, speaking these words, okay? The Lord chose us. Everybody had their own path. Every brother in this room had, had something else planned for their life before the Lord called him in this truth, you know? <laughs> before the Lord said, nah, you're you going you gonna to do this. I'm, I'm steering you this way. You know, I got other plans for you, okay? So, hey, hey, this is an honor. You know, this is a blessing that we're here. Uh, all we can do right now is what? Continue to fight, endure, pray for each other. This is a battle, man. You know? Yep. You I, got something? Yeah, I got a preacher to back it up, just what you're going into. Because, like you were saying, we didn't uh, make ourselves prophets. Right. You know, to go out here and teach the word, you know? So this is Amos 7, <coughs> Amos seven fourteen. Then answer Amos, because pretty much, you know, this wicked king didn't want him to prophesy no more than land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? So it, Amos, again, straight to the point, Amos 7, 14. Then answer Amos and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son, <coughs> but I was a herdman and of a gatherer of sycamore fruit. And the Lord took me as I followed the flock. And the Lord said to me, go prophesy to my people of Israel. Mm -hmm. See, so you read this in NLT, but Amos replied, I'm not a professional prophet, and I was never trained to be one. Right. I'm just a shepherd, and I take care of a sycamore fig tree. But the Lord called me away from my flock and told me, Go and prophesy to my people in Israel. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, was, he was called away. <laughs> he was called, we were called, it's like we were pulled away from our uh, uh, worldly professions and jobs and things we were doing in the world. You know, no, you, you got to do this. This is what I've called and, and, and chosen you to do. Yeah. I appointed this job for you. Yeah, hey, well, uh, Peter, I will make you physics of man. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yeah. Um, get it, brother. The <laughs> six. Oh, yeah, yeah. He read my In Second Samuel chapter twenty-two, yeah. verse thirty-two, it says, "For the most, for who is the most high?" Said the Lord, and who is a rock? Save our power. Yeah, how about Shema is my strength and power, and He maketh my way perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 32. For who is my power, saith the Lord, and who is a rock, saith thy power. The Most High, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. He maketh my way perfect, man. So, hey, we, we got to follow the way of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. You know, he set us up to uh, uh, preach and teach this truth. You know, to follow his way. And we, we, we got to do it to the best of our ability, man. You know, Jake Jake is, uh you know, called to do something great, man. You can't be afraid to be great, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something that, that I've been battling, you know, in the, in the faith, man. You know, Jake is used to just being, you know, just a, a regular guy. No, nah, man, this, this ain't nothing regular about this, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been called to be great, man. This is greatness right here, man. Okay? Hey, the Lord chose us for a reason. Each and every brother has a, a, a special talent, you know? And we got we to gotta go all out. Use what the Lord gave you, man. You know, whatever it is. <clears throat> um, uh, you want some rock first or you want a root first? He called them Kodash to get their roots in the south. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is um, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, and uh, starting at verse 1 in the GNTD. Uh -huh. It says, the responsibility of rulers. 
It says, so then you kings, you rulers, it says you rulers the world over. Listen to what I listen to what I say and learn from it. You govern many lands and are proud that so many people are under your rule. It says, it says, but this authority has been given to you by the Lord, Yahweh Most High. He will examine what what you have done and what you plan to do. Right. Yeah, it says authority has been given to you by the Lord, Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. hey, a lot, a lot of these nations are gonna realize that in the days and times to come. Uh, hey, the Lord was the one that set you up. That's Psalm 75. We got that one too, bro. You can hold that. Okay. Hey, because at the end of the day, the authority is given by the Heavenly Father. How about Shema Shai? All right? Now, hey, hey, these people don't have any authority. Esau, eat them. You're, you're, uh, hey, that's, that's, uh, what is that? Job 9 and 24. Earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. It's been given. <laughs> he gave you the earth for a period of time, man. To do as you chose to do, you know, to do wickedness. Nothing is off script, you know. Esau, he don't think they're doing something. No, man, the Lord is allowing you to do this for a period of time, for a appointed time. <laughs> he got to keep going. Yeah, I'm going to hit verse 2 again for the brother. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 and verse 2 in the GNTD. It says, you govern many lands and are proud that so many people are under your rule. Yeah. It's, it's, that's Esau, the Edomites. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yep, and it says in verse 3, but this authority has been given to you by the Lord. Y'all about some old shot. Hey, you just said it. <laughs> the authority has been given to you by the Lord. Yeah, how about some old shot? You, you've been set up, E. You don't have any power, man. But, hey, you're going to realize that soon to come. Yeah, can a brother get Job back on that? Uh, Job, uh, is it fourteen and five? Yeah, brother can grab that. This Job chapter fourteen verse five, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, and thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Yep, he got bounds that he cannot pass. <coughs> Esau Edom has limitations on his kingdom. All right, so the time is coming where a hey, a hey, this 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 kingdom this this uh wicked society that we're in right now that's being ran by Esau Edom the wicked. All right, it's gonna it's gonna come to an end, man. All right, you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come finishing up in Wisdom of Solomon chapter six and uh, verse three in the GNTD. It says. It says, but this authority has been given to you by the Lord, Yahweh Shemuel Most High. He he will examine what you have done and what you plan to do. See, he will examine what you have done and what you plan to do, which is the reason why the Lord is not going to allow this man to to uh, uh, extend his kingdom uh, a second past what's 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 authorized. Man. <laughs> okay, yeah, this place is going down, man. Hey, a brother can hold that apple cook too. We got it on the list. Uh, can a brother real quick cool <coughs> too grab uh <coughs> second, second Ezra sixteen uh <coughs> I wanna say sixty two. He said he said surely he he knoweth your inventions. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, this is uh second Ezra sixteen and verse sixty two. Yeah. And the spirit of the almighty power, which made all things, is searching out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. Surely if he you know your inventions and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin and would hide their sins. Yeah, that's why the script say uh, he disappoints the devices of the crafty, mm -hmm. that their hands did not perform their enterprise. Mm -hmm. You know, because the Lord has searched the heart of this Esau Edom and has seen that it's been nothing but perverseness. Yep. Right? And that's why, you know, he has set up uh, his prophets and prophets, you know, to rebuke this man, right? And to call him out for all the wickedness that he's doing in the planet Earth. Because when you read Wisdom of Solomon in the sixth chapter, it goes into uh, how a king is really supposed to rule. You know, how he's supposed to have discipline, the fear of the Lord, you know, keeping the commandments, loving Yahweh by Shemel Right? 
Okay. And if God desire wisdom, you know, uh, keep the commandments, you know, and the Lord shall give her unto thee liberally. And the wisdom and knowledge of the Holy Scriptures is how one is supposed to rule a society if they want peace and harmony. Right. Right? You got it. Right. I had a precept. Bobby, I'm shocked. Let them let read the next verse, and then you got it out. Okay, cut off. Uh, it says in uh, Wisdom no, of Solomon. No, no, I was talking about it. No. Okay. Did you leave already? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah, 63. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll read 63 again. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 63. You can, you can go straight to 64. All right. Yeah, that's what I was saying in the next verse. Okay. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and verse 64. Therefore, hath the Lord exactly searched out all your works, and he will put you all to shame. <laughs> because it's the, the time is coming where everybody's going to have to know where the true power and authority comes from because Esau's playing this supreme power in the earth right now he's playing God you know and a lot of people looks at, at him and his system and the way that he rules the earth uh, as a matter of fact it's a scripture that says uh, that the people look at this man like God uh uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it. But, uh, you ain't talking about like, like Zeke was. Maybe. Maybe. It's, it, it's like he's trying to he's trying to escape me. But y'all got it, though. But anyway, people look at this man like the most hot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, I want to get this in Daniel. You know, pretty much. Can you read verse 3 again? <laughs> John, this is a... Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 and verse 3 in the GNTD. It says, but this authority has been given to you by the Lord. So this authority, this is Daniel 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demands by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruler in the kingdom of man and give it. Mm-hmm. And to whomsoever he will mm. and sit up over it, the basis of man. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. That's that's who's over uh uh that's who's running the, the, the world right now, man. You know, the basis of man, which lets you know the power of the heavenly father you have by Shema Shai. All right, he, he set up the lowest of the low <laughs> right now on the earth, and, and, and Jake looks at them as an authority, man. Jake looks at these sides. If he's 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 some, you know, uh, 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 man to be praised or looked at in in, in high regard, man. Yeah. When he's the lowest of the low, you know. Which like I said, it goes back to the to the Lord, man. Yeah, that's uh, that's it came back to me. That's Isaiah. I think it's Isaiah twenty nine. Surely, oh, right the, surely the turning the things upside down. Twenty nine sixteen. Yep. yep. Shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Yep. 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 And you saw that man. You got it out. Yeah, I'm gonna start at 15. It says uh-huh. uh, uh Isaiah 29 and 15. <clears throat> it says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. That's the wicked. Like he mm-hmm. said, he has exactly searched out all the works of the wicked, and soon he's gonna put them to shame. They being put to shame as we speak this very moment, because the Lord is exposing Esau even for the devil to be the devil. But the world for so long has thought he's this angelic, pure, uh, innocent creature, you know, uh, through this renaissance that he has established in the earth, you know, he he set himself up to be like the most high, painted his picture uh, over the images of the most high, the sun and all the saints. You know, so the world by default thinks, hey, this is the man. This is what the most highest kingdom looks like right here. You got it, bro. Yep, it says, um, and their works are in the dark, and they say, who seeth us? Right, but see, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh they say, uh, there's nothing uh, here that shall not come to the light. This shall not be manifest, you know. And everything was appointed for a time to happen. This is the time where Esau is being made naked, is being made bare. Right. His power is being stripped from him because the main uh, part of his power was deception for so long, just to deceive you. 
Mm-hmm. Now, that's going to run out. When that completely runs out, then the other part of the power that the Lord gave him, which was the sword, that's all he's going to have left to use. Right. So he's going to show himself that he is the devil. Yeah. For so long, like I say, he sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Yeah. Yeah. But he's not the Most High's temple. Edom is not who the Lord appointed to be his temple. Yeah. The Israelites are the Most High's temple. Y'all got it, bro. It says, um, who seeth us and who knoweth us? Surely your things of turning are like it. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. You got it. Y'all got it, bro. Yep. Hey, Esau, what is, what is <coughs> he done? He's turned everything upside down, man. All right? <laughs> get that in uh, Isaiah. Is that 5 and 20? Yeah. Yeah, get that, bro. Because, uh, Pretty much, that's that's what Esau has done, man. Everything that's that's right, he's made that uh, the wrong the wrong way to look at things. That's, yep. He's turned everything upside down, man. Yep. Which is why the Lord has to return and come back to to uh, to, to put things back in order. Yep. You know, it's, it has to be a, 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 a cleansing, man, done on the earth, man. First and foremost. After the shit that Esau's done, man, the demolition job he's done on the earth, it has to be, you know, it has to be uh, order restored, man. Yeah, he the real demolition man. man the real yeah. demolition man. He's, he's just just totally screwed up everything. Well, that's what scriptures call him, the son of perdition. Yep. Yeah. You, y'all got it? Yeah, this is Isaiah <clears throat> chapter 5 and verse 20. <clears throat> Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Yep. Yeah. They put darkness for light. And light for darkness. Like he called what he said what mo mo is good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing being the mo. That's 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 an abomination and that's evil in the eyes of the Lord. Man, man I was reading something. I don't know if one of you brothers posted it in the chat. <laughs> that nigga spent like uh so many millions of dollars for uh transgender uh men to uh get like have pregnancy. Mm. They use like. So many millions of taxpayers' dollars. Uh, taxpayers' dollars. Yeah, mm. One of you brothers put it in the chat, I believe. Like, <laughs> like you use taxpayers' dollars to yeah. pay for transgender pregnancies. Right, man. And Bullshit. It's, 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 it's stupid. You know, it's stupid. It's wicked. Like you, you, be, you, you become a, you become a, you transform from a woman to a man. And still on kids. And still on kids. This is conf- this why it's Babylon the Great. Confusion. Instead of fishing all the goddamn potholes and uh, giving, right. you know, and, and giving on um, the homeless <laughs> on shelter. Ooh, boy, you about to make me mad. Boy. You want to do some BS like that? <laughs> that damn pothole. Right. You know? Like, hey, here in the pothole, that shit humble you, that's man. Your, that, yeah, shit, yeah. that shit tell your car up. Yeah. And then you got to read some shit like this. This, 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 so this what y'all right. doing instead of fixing these ragged ass streets. Right. The whole system. Anyway, it's fucked up. I need a power ass now. <laughs> Fine, bro. <laughs> you can't even swear to a cop side. You got to take this shit. Take this shit. Fucking Babylon. <laughs> man. That's why it's a Babylon, yeah. man. This is Isaiah 5 and 20. War unto them, they call evil good. War means destruction. And that's exactly what coming to the wicked. But in good, evil. They put darkness for light. Like in good and evil. Uh, what, 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 uh, masculine, toxic masculinity. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be a man because now it's looking evil, man. You yeah. trying to do the right thing, it's looking evil, yeah. man. It's frowned upon. You want multiple man. women, that's evil in the society, yeah. man. You know? Yeah. It says they put darkness for light and light for darkness. <laughs> they put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Bitter for sweet, sweet for bitter, man. Esau's got everything out. Of course, he's setting everybody up ultimately to go against the Heavenly Father, man. You know? <laughs> everything the Lord has set up, man, Esau has it, you know, set up for you to go the opposite way. You know? Yep. <laughs> hey, every, just, just a quick, uh, hey, just a quick little example, basically how he puts pork in all the goddamn food, man. <laughs> you know? Everything you see, you shit, you don't even think got pork in it. You get some turkey links or something. Chicken turkey links. <laughs> some pork hey, casing. Yeah, it's casing. They're casing. 
<laughs> the casing is, is important. It You're was, like, what the fuck, man? I can't be. No, I'm sorry. This man going uh, super far. He's uh, actually grinding up sawdust and putting it inside your food to prevent starvation. And he's doing it as if it's a good thing. Hold on, hold on. You, you know that would be it. <laughs> and for me, and he's right though because that's like um you know like the little taco blend cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Sawdust. Yep. Sawdust. It's in there. Oh, oh, man. I wanna know that Papa John cheese. That little, it's in there too. Yep. Hey, it's in a so, lot of things. <laughs> shit. He he trying to hey he, he this man is deaf, man. He <laughs> is as deaf. Yeah, that's the type of shit that is very so you know the most high man, man. Like you, 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 you just think, bro, that ain't fucking infuriates you when you think about, like, <laughs> nigga, I eat taco, you know how much I, I eat tacos? I love tacos. <laughs> oh, damn. You, it's nothing righteous, man. Everything nothing. is tainted. That's, the scriptures don't lie, man. He yeah. said, you, we shall eat our bread foul amongst the Gentiles, man. Yeah. You know, it, the Lord ain't, ain't, ain't lied to us about one thing, man. Yeah. You know, and the more we dig deep into What's really going on in the world, man? Like, like the scriptures say, with much wisdom, uh, multiply grief, man. You like, you really grieve just being in this motherfucking place when you really yep. dwelling with the wisdom of your Hawaiian shot. Yep. Yep. Well, so it, it is of the Lord mercy that we are not consumed. Yep. You know. That's right. And I got a very quick one. This Isaiah three and eleven. Woe to the wicked! It should be ill with him. For the reward of his hands should be given him. Mm -hmm. So he get exactly what he deserves, man. You know? And, it, and it's saying the NLG. But the wicked are doomed. But that will get exactly what they deserve, man. They will get exactly what they deserve. You, Hey, that's uh, Galatians, man. What, you, what a man sow, that shall he also reap, man. Hey, Esau has, has done nothing but push out wickedness, evil. You know, he's... he's, he's uh, uh, Everything he owns, everything he 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 uh he had in his he got in his possession, he took it by what violence, man, yep. rape, robbery, and murder. So hey, what do you, what the hell do you expect to happen to come back upon you, man? What do you think is, is, is going to come back to you? Yeah, all, all good things. Now now he's wanting to uh, uh, pray and ask for you know, hey hey, let's all come together. You know, we're all as one. We're one people. One this percent. and that. The one percent, yeah, they're the one. That, they're the one pointing the point the finger at the elites. No, you right, you with them. You reap the benefits of this shit. But hey, hey, like the lesson is going into, hey, the Most High appointed power, man. So hey, yo, yo, the time is almost up, e. Yeah. The time of him being in control and in power, that shit is running out. You don't know, that that owl gra glass, man. Like the brother Tyler Mug got one in his house. <laughs> that mother get to running out. We know, hey, it's all, hey let's not move over with it. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <clears throat> yeah, I got three stuff. You got it. This is uh, Job 20 and 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing <laughs> of the wicked is short, yep. and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment, mm -hmm. though his ecstasy mount up to the heavens, and his head reach onto the clouds, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. Mm -hmm. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? Mm -hmm. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yet he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Right. So it, when it's all said and done, it's going to be as if he never existed. Yep. You know, because his appointed power now is to be at the top. But as time goes, he's going to. It's only one way he can go. It's not. It, it was not appointed for him to reach the top and stay at the top. That's Israel appointed power. Yeah. He 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 he's only got one way he can go. That's that's down. That's down. Yeah. And, and 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 down all the way ground back down into the ground like that very fucking sawdust that he put in the taco blend. Yeah. This nigga's gonna go all the way back down to the dust and. Before he does that, though, he's got to pay his retribution. Mm -hmm. He's got to pay for all the sins and atrocities uh -huh. and the violence, the genocide that he's done in the earth. He's got to pay that back, uh -huh. you know? So the Lord ain't going to just, you know, take him out uh, quickly, you uh -huh. know? He's going to have to get that agonizing pain and suffering that he put mm -hmm. us through. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, like we right here getting infuriated about certain things, like, you know, grieved about certain things. Well, he got to get that shit times too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just make a point. Yeah, I mean, say, because you see how beautiful the earth can be when you leave these major cities. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Whenever you, whenever these cities are done away with, now that we're in these major cities, if you never left, this corner that you're on, you're like, damn, the earth is filthy, the earth is disgusting. Mm -hmm. But once paradise is set up and order is set back and reestablished, no nothing that this man has ever done on the earth is going to be remembered. Remember, it's not yeah. going to be here. It, say, it, it tells you that, too, which you, you just read uh, one scripture, but it's another scripture that say his memorial, uh, it talks about his memorial. He should, For all he should, generations. It shall be. Uh, I have my phone. It, it, I think it says his memorial uh, should not. He should not have a memorial. Pretty much, he won't. His yeah. memorial will. will yeah, it's Isaiah fourteen. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Yeah, it's a couple of scriptures that talk about him not having a memorial anymore. You know, uh -huh. like the wicked. It, it specifically talks about the wicked not having a memorial. Not filling the face of the world with cities. Yep, that that's one. You yeah, know, that's another Psalms. Because uh, another name for Israel is monument. So. The, 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 the righteous is the only is righteous and do it forever. So uh that's the only thing that the Lord is gonna allow to be made uh monuments in the earth is yeah. righteousness. Landmarks in the earth is only gonna be for righteous uh judgments that went forth, you know. Because <laughs> America, when it's reduced to total, it's gonna be a landmark, it's gonna be something to be remembered. It's gonna be remembered <laughs> for wickedness being destroyed. Yeah. You know, the good is that the wickedness was, was once good. here. Wickedness was here and it is no more. You know, yeah. like people leave marks, uh such and such was here, they call their names and trees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, well Esau's uh memorial is gonna be ashes. He's like Esau was here, he's here no more. It's mm -hmm. just ashes. <laughs> this is where the heavenly power delivered the children of Israel. This is, this this is what he did to their enemies. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. And it's gonna be a high holy day. That's right. It's gonna be a high holy day. Uh, I think I found it. Let me quote it. Come. The Psalms nine and five. Yep. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Mm -hmm. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. That's it. Thou hast put out thy name for ever and ever. That's it. Oh, thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, mm -hmm. and thou has destroyed cities, their memorial is perished with them. Their mm. memorial is perished with them. Mm. The, them fucking forefathers that they got carved up in fucking Mount Rushmore, yep. that, that's not going to be there. No, no. None of that. Nothing that they ever established. All the they whole enterprise that they dedicated their lives to establish it in the earth, all that shit is gonna mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Yeah, because hey, nothing, nothing is gonna be left of Babylon, man. Nope. Nothing in this place is gonna be remembered, yep. or cherished, or looked at. Nope. As, you know, this shit is just gonna be a, a desert land, man. That's it. Like With, the Lord gave gave us that uh, memorial, like. Even though we lost our inheritance, he gave us certain artifacts. He gave us this word. He's like, uh, in Baruch, he say, in the land of our captivity, we remember mm -hmm. ourselves. But well, Esau, you can forget about remembering anything in right. captivity. Oh, yeah. boy. How you, you going to know? Hey, you, <laughs> well, you're going to have work. a hard time forgetting the last lick that was put on your ass. <laughs> That's as far as you're going to be able to remember. Right. Like, God damn that last lick, <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Thinking about that. That last right. little perk. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's how you be thinking about it. How I stop getting my ass whooped every day. That's it. Shit. That's it. And you ain't gonna be able to do that. Had a precept. It's sick in Edges chapter 11, verse 41. For the earth has thou not judged with truth, but thou has afflicted the meat, and thou has hurt the peaceable. Thou has loved liars. And destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit, mm -hmm. and has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Mm -hmm. Therefore is thou wrongful dealing come up unto the highest. They say cast down the walls of them that did them no harm. You think about uh, Black Wall Street. Yeah. You think about the, the native tribes, just in just in general. You know, 
And then these motherfuckers trying to keep Ishakar from coming over here. Motherfucker, Ishakar was here first. Right. What you? What are you talking about? How you right. gonna try to keep the people that was here before you out? Right. Pride. Second edges of living in forty three and thy pride unto the mighty. Mm. The highest also have looked upon the proud times and behold, they are ended and his abominations are fulfilled. Mm. And therefore, no more thou eagle nor thy horrible wings, mm. nor thy wicked feathers, nor thy malicious heads, nor thy hurtful claws, nor all thy vain bang body, that all the earth may be refreshed and may return, being delivered from thy violence, mm. and that she may hope for the judgment and mercy of him that made her. Mm. And that's what we've been reading about the, the, the fulfillment of Esau Edom's sins, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. applying that to Esau Edom today, mm -hmm. right? And the wicked elites that rule the society, right? We're waiting for their sins to be fulfilled, and that's when Yahweh Shah is going to come back sure. and deliver us. Sure. You know, all we can uh, patiently wait is for Yahweh Shah to come back. You know, as things are getting harder and harder, well, a time like none other is coming. You know, uh, to go somewhere you've never been, you're going to have to go through something that you've never done. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, that's so right. That's right. That's right. we're about to feel a level of pain and intensity, you know, that's going to be harsh. I mean, when you read about Yahweh Shai and his darkest hour leading up to when he was actually crucified. Yeah. That didn't seem, you know, all that joyous. Right. No, that was intense. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I wish I was pushed to his very limits. Yeah, yeah. So. So he was sweating blood. Yeah. yeah. You know? So we're going to be pushed to our limits. You, you got to resist unto blood. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Thou, has, yeah, thou hasn't resisted unto blood yet. <laughs> yep. So what we're going through is really nothing. Yep. But we're, we're about to go through something very yep. intense. That's why we can't be in the woe is me spirit. Right. Yeah, how was shy said I've already all power has already been given to me. Right. Just do what I command you to do and everything is gonna be okay at the end of the day. Just yeah. continue to trust in me. Yeah, I'm with you on to the end. <coughs> victory. I was thinking of that first Corinthians uh fifteen. We had a victory through Yahweh Shah my shot. That's what it said. That's you know? right. But we have to endure, we have to believe first and foremost. You have to endure. Keep going. Keep pushing. You know that's what it's about. You can't. You can't. Uh, you know, endure for a while, and then you you fall to the side. You you, you know, you want fit. Yeah. You know. That's where that's where you really receive the most power through enduring the hard times. That's why uh, <clears throat> even even with training and working out, you get the best results through time under tension, hit, high intensity interval training. Mm -hmm. That's where you get the most production out of right. your work, you know, when it's the most intense. And that's when the most high is gonna show the power that he's appointed to his elect mm -hmm. in the times where the world is the most tense, the most chaotic. That's when he's going to reveal his power. Right. Right? Through his elect. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a time where power is a, like, because uh, remember J Jake yesterday at camp. Uh, when the most high going to show, I want him to come. I want him. Uh, he, he gonna, he's going to show himself just like he's showing himself to you now as we're speaking his words and his prophecies to you. Uh -huh. He's going to show miracles through his men. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, that's that scripture. I point on. I I give you power over scorpions. Yes, you it, it, bring, bring it out. Yeah, bring it out. I, I couldn't find it. Bring it out. Yo, bring it, it out. Nineteen. Bring it out. I do believe it's in Luke. Too. It's in Luke. And I also own the one. You know, you posted it today. You know, I point to you the king. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get it. That, we'll get know. it. Lord, we'll, we'll get it. I believe this brother had a precept first. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Lord. You've been holding. Oh ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Kind of. I was just gonna land back off the uh, brother Karaz precept. This is a uh, Proverbs uh, 22 and uh, verse 22 and verse 23. I'm starting at verse 22. It says, rob not the poor because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate 
It says in verse 23, for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al will plead their cause. See, that's that's going into that power we're gonna receive. The Lord's gonna plead our cause. He's not gonna, he's not gonna come down here and say, please, Esau, please stop oppressing my people. When he when he came to, to, to Pharaoh, he wasn't he wasn't asking Pharaoh, will you let my people go? Mm -hmm. He said, let my people go through Moses. He didn't he, he didn't say it himself. He said it through Moses. So we've always seen how the Most High shows his power. He's yeah. not going to stop doing it in that manner. And after he wouldn't take Moses' word, that's when he manifested his true power. So it's not like we always say, we're not going to be out here <laughs> and be telling you constantly, stop fucking the earth up. Hey, telling our people, hey, stop following this man that's fucking the earth up. Because the Lord said, guess what? He will destroy them which destroy the earth. Yep. Yeah, finishing up in uh, verse 23 of Proverbs 22 in verse 23, it says, it says, for the Lord, Yahabashim HaOshai, will plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoil them. Hmm. That's funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. I find it that was it? Yeah, that was it. Oh, go ahead, bro. This Luke chapter 10, verse 19, behold. I give unto you. Oh, Start at 18. Man, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah. I need that comfort. I need that comfort. I need that comfort. This Luke What's chapter. 17. Okay, okay. Just make sure 18 in there too. <laughs> this Luke chapter 10, verse 17. And the 70 <laughs> return again with joy, saying. Because remember how he shot sent his disciples out. You know, he sent the 70 out. I think he sent them out in twos, yep. you know, preaching, you know, casting out demons, you know, evil spirits, you know, and that's what we're doing now, you know, but on the spiritual uh, standpoint, right? Through us, the, through the preaching of the word, through the power of the, the words of Yahweh by Shema Washai, you know, you're able to overcome demons and, and, and the, the sins that you were committing, you know, in this world that had... A control over you that was holding you back that was holding you down right you got it and, and that's just the start of it right and it's gonna lead to what to us giving literal power to where we're, we're gonna have this power again that the disciples had these times this Luke 10 and 17 and the city return again with joy saying Lord even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, Behold, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Right, so Esau, even he's going to come out of power very quickly, mm -hmm. you know, and he is falling very quickly. You know, one day to the Lord That's is a thousand, thousand years. years to us, you know. So the Heavenly Father, you know, he ain't playing around. Yeah. You know, yeah. he's... You know, he's, he's getting the reports. He's letting everybody, you know, put setting everything up in order. You know, he's, he's setting his men up, making sure that we're on the level for this uh, great and evil day. Yeah. You know, the Lord making sure that we're ready for this time of trouble. Right? The yeah. Lord building our spirits up. Right? Yeah, Esau really only been in power for like two days. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Been out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Luke 10 and 19, behold, I give unto you power to tread upon tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Yep. I'm giving you power. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it. And like the brother was saying, just to add to it, with the word. The power begins with the word we were just speaking on. You know. And I, I want to lay him back with this 2 Corinthians 10. Uh for the for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, mm -hmm. but mighty through the power to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high power, Ooh. and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of a Masiaki Hausa. So 
That's the word. That's the word. Hebrews 1 and 12, the word of the most high is, is, is powerful. quick and powerful. Yep. Yep. When, it's all said, when it's all said and done, everyone's going to know that they're they're subject to these words. That's yeah. it. That's That's it. it. There's no escape. Yeah. That's it. No matter yeah. how, how big your voice is in the earth, because mm -hmm. this man has the world wide web mm -hmm. where he is uh, getting on his, he has multiple news outlets. That's it. You know, he has his media. <laughs> yep. Right? Yep. That's the highest thing. He think it's his media. Yeah. yeah. He really think it's his. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Urim and the, the Thurum mm -hmm. is really the most high. The deceived and the deceiver is his. <coughs> <coughs> yep. Yep. Finishing up Luke 10 and 19, it said, And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you. But rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Mm. Lord willing. Lord willing. And Lord willing, uh, <coughs> like the brother Isaiah was saying, we made subject unto these words. Yep. And if we are the elect, the world is going to know that the Lord uh, gave us these words. He, he, like the scriptures say, then shall you know that a prophet was among you. Mm -hmm. So all we got to do is stay faithful to his word and continue to preach his word. And like you say, uh, our light affliction is not worthy to be compared with the glory that mm -hmm. shall be revealed in us. Mm -hmm. The Lord's glory is his word. When it's all said and done, the Lord's glory is his, all he needs is his word to get anything done. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you got to Yeah. yeah uh, you know, going with that word. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4. It says, where the word of a king is, there is power. Where the word of a king is, there is power. Hey. <laughs> and, and, and we got the word of who? The king of the kings. King. Yeah. The king of kings. Mm. That's comfort. That's, 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 see, that's, that's why you scoffers, you unbelievers, and all you people who got something slick to say, and, and, and you murmurers, you don't phase us really, you know. Yeah, we 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 act on the flesh sometimes. We get upset, you know, and we cuss Jake out, <laughs> you know. Sometimes that happens. That's just a part of it. But when it's all said and done, the true comfort that we have, we're not really faded about you people that don't believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come finishing up, it says in Ecclesiastes chapter eight and verse four, it says, "Where the word of a king is, there is power." And who say, and it says, and who may say unto him, what doest thou? Mm. Well, who can uh, pretty much question the king like that? Yeah. Who can resist his uh, commandment, is, you know, questioning him? Go yeah. read in this verse. Uh, and it says in uh, verse 5, it says, whoso, whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing. And what is it? Kiss the son, but you be angry. angry, and you perish in the way. Mm -hmm. So pretty much those that obey the king's commands, Pretty much will not be punished, man. Yep. <laughs> yep, and it says, and a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. Right. Yep. Find a way to do what is right that is well pleasing his eyes. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to be punished. It's the same way he had given straight commandments. Mm -hmm. Yep. What we yep. to do to uh, 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 observe. Uh, now, what we ought to do to observe, observe and, observe and avoid being punished. Being punished. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. yeah. Ooh, get 18 to no, not 18. Don't worry about it. It's 21. Hey, before you get there, I got a quick one. This is uh Daniel 4 and 35. Uh, Daniel 4 and 35, it says, And all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing, and he doeth according to his <laughs> will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay his hand or say unto him, what doest thou? <laughs> can can you, you read that in the NLT? Daniel 4 and 35 in the NLT? Yeah, I can read it. This is Daniel 4. Oh, you want to see what 18? Mm -hmm. This is Daniel 4 and 35 in the NLT. All the people of the earth are nothing compared to him. He does as he pleases among the angels of heaven and among the people of the earth. No one can stop him or say to him, what do you mean by doing these things? 
like it's like Jake, you know, yes, it's man. like Porter. Yeah. Why can't he just snap his finger? But the same sin is the same breath. Bro, if he answered this question. He answered. He yeah. do what he wants. This his movie, man. Right. Because right. if you were to watch a movie and you hear how the king, all right, the king wants you to gather, you know, all the all the livestock, all the livestock and the people. The king's word is gonna come with power. He's gonna send his forces and horsemen, his military might to back up his word and that shows four of his power yep. exactly. and the people are going to be powerless yep right just like the people of this world you know start with the elite bankers who have all the power are powerless and, his word. you know they're <laughs> subject to their authority yep. God, is it you said you, you said movie movies like skill move why the fuck they all let the black niggas down that's how we fall with the bull man <laughs> chasing them and shit. We can get mad, but hey. That's his authority. That's, yeah, that's him. Because when you watch uh, King, brothers in that movie, King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, oh, really? he was explaining how power is just so exhilarating. Mm -hmm. You know? And mm -hmm. um, he, he had his spokesman saying, Behold, your king. And he didn't even say anything, he just held his hand. Over the crowd for everyone to bow, mm -hmm. you know, exercising his power that's that it. he has that's over it. them. Because mm -hmm. you know, they don't bow, that's their life. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. King. Yeah. yeah. So like eighteen, you started the line, then uh, taking that to seven. This is Sirach eighteen and one. He that lived forever created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous. Mm. And there is none other but he. There's mm. none other but he. He the only true power. Mm -hmm. But he saw trying to play God. Mm -hmm. We see it now with, with what? His his NWO this Nick Chip Imp. Mm -hmm. He's trying to be God. But he ain't. He nothing but a man. Mm -hmm. That's why we hastening the day praying to the Lord. How long should this endure? Yep. Right? They go hand in hand with Romans 13. Yep. Let's do it. Yep. it says, who governs the world. With the palm of his hand. Governor the world with the palm of his hand. <coughs> That's right. It says, Who governs the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. Everything obey the most high will. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. If I may say, because if something is in your hand, let's say you have a ball in your hand, right? You control what that ball does. Yep. That ball can't that ball can't go anywhere. So the Heavenly Father is liking on the earth being the Heavenly Father's hand. There's nothing anyone down here upon the earth can do. You're in his, like, there's, you got no might. Ooh, this Deuteronomy 32 and 39, he killed, make it alive. Mm -hmm. No one can escape his hand, yep. man. Yep. Mm -hmm. you know? yep. But you on the hand on, you in the hand on the left side, ooh, that's trouble. That's trouble. Trouble. That's trouble. That's trouble. 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 Uh, this is on Sirach 18.3 Who governs the world with the palm of his hand And all things obey his will For he is the king of all By him And by his power Dividing holy mm -hmm. things Among them from profane That's it, That's it. All things obey the heavenly father yeah. He's so right now doing the thing Doing the will <laughs> Doing the will of the heavenly father man. Mm -hmm. The scripture says whoever resisted his will mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. saw can't resist. He doing. He he, he going according to script. Come Everything on. this devil is doing is according to the plans of the heavenly Father. Man, yeah, how about your mouth shut? Yep. He created um the wicked for the day of uh, destruction. Proverbs sixteen and four. You know. That's it. Uh, uh, as seven. Hey, can you read verse four? Yeah, you can. Okay. Verse four. To whom have he given power to declare his works? To whom have he given power? To declare his works, mm -hmm. meaning what he's appointed <laughs> men to declare his mm -hmm. works. Mm -hmm. That's the prophets. That's right. You got it. Who shall also? Oh, sorry. It says, "To whom shall he? To whom hath he given power to declare his works? And whom shall he find out his noble acts? Yep. And who shall find out his noble <coughs> his noble acts?" No, sure the Lord will do nothing. Well, he revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets. That's right. And what makes 
uh, it noble, that is righteous, mm-hmm. you know, that it, it's just, you know, it's good for the, for the children of Israel, you know, starting with the nation of Israel, but it's going to be a ripple effect where it's going to be bring peace, you know, to the whole world, mm-hmm. to the animals, to, to the to smallest molecules that are before our eyes every day that we can't even see. Right. You really understand there's a world before your eyes that you can't even see, you know, at a microscopic level. Hmm. So. It's second Hedges chapter 7, verse 21. You, you, you 19? It's second. It's second Hedges chapter 7, verse 19. And he said unto me, There is no judge above the most high, mm. and none that have understanding above the highest. Yeah. Your thoughts are not his thoughts. Yep. Yeah. But there be many that perish in this life because they have despised the law of the Most High that is set before them. If I may say, it said that there is none, there's no judge above the highest, and we are just here. Who we're we're just Lord's one. The hope we're the hopeful elect. Lord's one part of the elect mm-hmm. who have been appointed. You know, a, a, our portion of the gospel, right, to preach unto you and to yep. let you know. Every the 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 wisdom of Yahweh by Shema Shah, everything he wants to do, right? There's no judge above the highest, right? Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth, right? So what, why do you have a problem with us? Mm. You know, when you read the scriptures, the Most High Word is absolute. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we we not the we not the problem. Your problem is with the Most High. That's it. The yeah. Heavenly Father, take it over them. Yep. Which that I, I don't advise you. To do that <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful because the Lord said, "What he that despises you despises me, mm-hmm. and despises me that has sent you know, mm-hmm. you know, you know it's an order, a chain, chain of order. command, a chain of command. Yeah. Hey, on the job, you don't want to listen to the supervisor? Right. <laughs> Come on, shit. yeah. Hey, you know, Jake, do that shit. Yeah. I, take, take me to the boss. I want to talk yeah. to the big boss. Yeah. Hey, you see how they panned out for Israel, man? They, they screamed and hollered to talk to you, and then what happened, man? You know, you talk to he, 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 yeah, let me talk to him myself. A little thunder roar, he barely even, you know, <clears throat> didn't, do, didn't do nothing, man. He, oh, 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 shit, you got both? Well, what do you, <laughs> what do you expect? You know, you didn't fear in obeying his representative. So what? I'm going to give you a reason why you should fear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you a reason why you should obey. I'm not about to come to you speaking how Moses came to on, on to you. Moses came meek and lowly onto you. Right. You know, no, nah, you're about to you want you wanna you wanna hear me, you're about to hear another side of me. Right. You yeah. know? If you uh it was like in the ancient times, if you threatened or you did something to a king's messenger, it was as if you did it to, to him. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you might say, touch not my anointed and do, do my, my prophets no harm. The Lord said himself. You uh pin the end of the a little ones, so it was better for you to hang yep. um, a millstone was hanging around, around your neck. It's all like commit suicide. Yep. You know? Yeah. Drown. You kill yourself, nigga. You kill yourself. Fucked up. Because you know? yeah. it's, like, it's like guardian <laughs> angels that take offense mm-hmm. at, you know, when people uh do th- things that are evil to us. Yeah. Yep. You know, that's why you're able to send up curses on people mm-hmm. and you know. That's why we. That's why you have that power. Well, that power. That authority. Hey, I remember the little tribe. You come by camp. They said that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to our spot. Yeah. We got the tricycles. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I remember Jake. Jake, that boy was on the chain, bro. Right in front of him. Right in front of him. That boy was. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. Say, yeah, that's some curses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The curses mm-hmm. working. The curses working. Yeah, I guess. Second Edge was seven and twenty one for your how about Shema Shah? Three twenty. Yeah, again. It's second edge of seven and twenty. But there be many that perish in this life. Perish me die. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Because they have despised the law of the Most High. We well, see why they despise the law of the Most High. Proverbs thirteen thirteen. Those that despise this word shall be destroyed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. So a lot of people gonna die it's cause what Jacob Trouble coming. Yeah. Right? Out to hey the second death is coming. Your house shy is coming back, man. The slain of the Lord should be many. So <laughs> there'll be men that perish in, in this life. In this lifetime now. 
Yeah, we're telling you, the only ones that's going to be covered that has the remembrance of Yahweh Shai's sacrifice upon their mind. That's it. You got to remember what Yahweh Shai has done for us as a nation. And you remember it by living in the manner that he wants us to live, <clears throat> following the law, statutes, and commandments. The just shall live by faith. You know, the greatest way to remember something is actually to live it or to become it. Right? It says, because they have despised the law of the Most High that is set before them. For Yahweh Shemah have given straight commandment to such as Cain, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. That's his divine authority. You know, you're going to do this. If you want to avoid punishment, or you can continue on the path that you're on, yeah. you know, you or you're going to perish. Yeah. You know, I'm giving you a, a, a straight commandment. It, it's a path with difficulty, yeah. you know, but this is what you need to observe, you know. If you want, you got to fight the, you know, it, tells you, it says this is the condition of the battle right. which man that is placed upon the earth shall fight. You know, it wasn't easy for Yahweh Shai. What makes you think it's going to be easy for us? Right. I got a proof, sir. This is uh, Isaiah 46 <clears throat> and verse 9. It says, Remember the former things of old, for I am the Most High, and there is none else. I am the Most High, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So, yeah, man, the Lord is going to, his will is going to be done, man, mm -hmm. in the earth. That's that's the uh, bottom line, man. You know, end of the day, you know, hey, the Lord is all powerful, and we're all under his will, man. We, we're all subjects under him, you know. Starting a hey, with you have a shot all the way down to the least member of the elect. That's right. You know. I got more. Right. Oh, you mind if I hit this yeah, Johnny? You got it, bro. Come. Uh, this is uh this is Isaiah chapter ten. You know, going, you know, going to the power. This is Isaiah chapter ten and verse fifteen in NLT. It says, it says, but can the axe boast greater power than the person who uses it? It says. It says it's the last no. Hmm. You know, an axe is just a tool. Right. You know, if no one ever uses that tool, it's then that there. that tool is just there. You know? So <laughs> same thing with Esau Edom. You only have power, you know, you, you you only got enough power to cut through that wood if the one swinging it is is mm -hmm. strong enough. And that's mm -hmm. the Heavenly Father using you to hew down the wicked of our people in these times of trouble as the, behold, the Lord has made all things for himself, mm -hmm. yep. even the wicked for the day of evil. That's right. So you've only been created for this time of Jacob's trouble. Like right. a tool. He's just, just a tool. tool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Brother etymology that the word tool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, and it says, is the saw greater than the person who saws? Mm -hmm. It says, can a rod strike unless a hand moves it? It says, can a wooden cane walk by itself? So obviously no. Mm. You know, only if the most high moves Esau Edom. You know? Hey, what your house shot says to Pilots. You can't do nothing unless my, unless my father, father give you authority. Give me that yeah. authority to do Ooh. something. So you can have no power over me except, except my father, father from heaven. <laughs> Can't get Ooh, it like man. Matthew 10. Man, you can't get it. You know, a, a, a raven don't, what's that, a bird don't fall. Yeah, a sparrow doesn't a sparrow fall out of the heavens it. unless the heavenly <clears> father sends you. That's power, man. That's power. And then, like, Jake don't realize that they actually under subjection of the Lord, man. Jake think you really got control. What's that, Proverbs 20 and 24? Uh, yeah, it yeah, yeah, ain't no fucking free will, man. We are all subject to 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 the will of the heavenly Father, man. That's right. You know, you're all back in Lord willing. We continue to be in the lots 
that the Heavenly Father chose us and put us back in. That's right. Because, yeah. hey, like like I went into it first. We, you think we, we asked to be here? Mm -hmm. we, did, did anybody say, hey, you know what? I, I <coughs> You know, right down in class, oh, yeah, I want to be a prophet. You know, you put basketball player, yeah, yeah. NBA policeman, player. yeah, NBA. Player. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody said prophet. No we were all, you know, <laughs> in the world. Because Esau even would tell you that you have a willpower, you know, to be able to push past certain limits. But you have to understand the Heavenly Father has a willpower that we are subject to. Right. You know, He has a will that He desires us to be under authority and subjection under. Right? You may have a will of something you want to do. I'm going to clean my room today. Right. You know? I got, you know, I'm going to do it. the energy. I'm going to clean that room. <laughs> but if the Heavenly Father right. doesn't sanction you, you know, to clean your room, you're not going to be able to do that. That's right, bro. Yeah. Bottom line. <laughs> Man goes, uh, look, at the end yeah. of the day, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, uh Dubai in mm -hmm. two years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Cheat. Cheat. Like the most. <laughs> well, hey, we have to say Lord's will. Yeah, yeah the scripture say, uh, uh, thou fool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Thou fool. Yeah, yeah. this day uh, thou soul will be required. <laughs> yeah, you niggas might die before you get you yeah. get to Dubai yeah. <laughs> or or, or black shit, Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Dubai, I want to Dubai. Come on, all right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you think mm -hmm. before I die? You don't want to go to the Middle East right now. I'm going to give your ass counsel. That last cheeseburger might be your last. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's in the food. <laughs> Y'all got it. <laughs> Get that etymology for that word. Tool. Mm -hmm. This tool in the etymology, old English, instrument, <laughs> implement used by a craftsman or laborer, a weapon. That's what we always say. The Heavenly Father is uh, the the the, the father has power over the clay. Right. You know, very similar to that. It's just a tool, something that's been crafted. Mm -hmm. It yeah. says, person used by another for his own end. Mm, that, that's it. Hey, that's all, uh, <laughs> what is that, 7, 13 Ooh. and 17 or 17 to 13? Oh, yeah. That, yeah, yeah that's my size angry at the wicked every day. No, uh, 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 deliver my soul from the wicked. who is that? Yeah, soul. Yeah. Psalm Ooh. 17. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's Psalm 17 and 13. A wise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is that sword. sword. That sword, that's the Lord's sword, man. Mm -hmm. Which he uses however he chooses to use for his purpose. For his purpose, and that's what's that's what's about to happen to two thirds of uh, Israel, man. You're about to get your ass towed up by the by the uh, whipping stick of the Most High, man. Man, you're I'm... about to use that tool. You better <laughs> use that too. Hey, I got it right here. Hey, hey, and I don't want to make this lesson too, too long. But can a brother get it uh, about the powers that was given? Uh, the, the red horse. The, Revelation uh, 6. Yeah, yeah, you know, to, 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 to take peace from the earth. Because that's really, that's Esau Edom, man. Yeah. That sword was given to him to take peace from the earth. So, right. the, so the Most High can send his son to restore peace back to the Come earth. On, man. You go to Revelation 19 and said what? With, with righteousness, he does judge and make war. So he's making war with Esau Edom, who's got the sword taking peace from the earth. He's coming to restore peace to the earth right. by taking that same sword he gave him away from his ass. But, but but the whole part, though, I, is that he's the one controlling them, though. Yeah, he's the one, he's the one, he, he the one using he in his left hand. And he don't, don't even know it. He don't even know it. He don't even know it. And now he about to bring the right hand to take your ass out, yep. man. Yep. And that means he is a man. Yep. That, hey, that, that, that should bring fear upon you, yep. man. If that don't bring fear, I don't know what will. Because at the end of the day, you not in control. And it's so cold because the most high, it's, it's showing you that the most high is crystal clear. <laughs> crystal clear. <laughs> Damn. It's so cold because the most, and, it, and it's funny because this is what I'm about to say. The Most High has to show you his fear. He has to make his fear crystal clear. Yeah. Because Esau, his pride won't allow him to see the Most High. The his pride only allows him to see himself as the Most High. That's right. You really understand, only the elect see the power of the Lord. That's it. You know? 
Plain unto the holy. Mm -hmm. Stone them blocks to the wicked. Yeah, can I get this quick precept? Just back into what I was saying. The Spirit kind of told me to get this twice. This is uh, saying Luke 14 31. I'm going to start 30. Saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. Or what king going to make war against another sitteth down not first and consulteth whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh with 20,000? Or else, while he is yet a great way off, he sendeth an ambassador and desire conditions of peace. Hmm. You know? It's so, a parable. You know? Mm -hmm. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath cannot be my disciple. Mm -hmm. so, you know? So we're looking from for conditions of peace. Yeah. You know, like you said, in righteousness, he's coming back to judge and to make, make war. war. Yeah. And when you look into the earth today, the only one who seemeth to have a chance to fight against the Lord's return is Esau, Edom, and this beast system, mm -hmm. you know? But that is far from the truth. That's yeah. the elect, you know? We actually see the power of the Lord simply through these words. see that, you know, some of the apostles and elders of the great Millstone have been speaking for the last 30 years, how they're coming to pass. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we see the power through the words of the Lord being spoken yes, week in and week out. Yes, how you can what, you, you can be going through something and brother, you know, you click on a, a brother's video, pop up your recommend, recommendations. Yes, yeah, yeah. And he, he gave you the wisdom on how to deal with that situation. Yep, yep, you yep, know, yep. that's the power of the Lord right oh, there. Right, see. Yeah. You know, and we, we're looking for conditions of peace. That's it. You know, new by, heavens, new earth. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, this Revelations chapter 6, verse 3. Mm -hmm. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that power, said, Power was appointed unto him. Because mm -hmm. you go into the Hebrew word for a point is what? Nathan. Being given. A point given. So he was given the power to take peace from the earth. And that was with Isaac when Yahweh Shai in the spirit was Isaac. He right. gave him the sword and he said, By the sword thou shalt, shalt live. Yeah. But guess what he didn't tell him? His language. Yeah. He didn't yeah. tell him Revelation 13 and 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell him you, you live by the sword, yeah. you die yeah. by the sword. Yeah. You live in the captivity, you go into captivity. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. He just told him by the sword shall you live, but you're gonna obtain the fatness of the earth. Mm. But he didn't tell him once he obtained the fatness of the earth through all that killing and genocide he committed with that sword. That sword gonna turn back around <laughs> on his ass and destroy him. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> only him who now live with man. Him. Hey, if I may add, this shit. Until he be taken out of the way. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the, the devil still had his time, though. He yeah. still, he, he still can't, ain't nothing you can say. The Lord still blessed you. He still blessed you and showed you favor, man. Hey, yeah. the Lord gave this motherfucker the prophets to tell him, hey, that's you right there that left him. Right. That's you. Right. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <right. laughs> don't, don't do that. Hell that. That's yeah. you. Feel this. Feel this. Feel this. You see what I'm saying? Because you got to think how much confidence he had once, once he saw that. You know, he's already an arrogant motherfucker. Man. But once he saw, oh, this is, oh, this is about me? Right. Jeez. I'm in here? Jeez. <laughs> 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 Man, I'm for this. That soul started glistening. That soul started glistening to him right then. You know what I'm saying? Most high cold. It's the only why he cherished. Mm -hmm. He that's cherished it. the spiritual. He cherished the call. He cherished the call. That's the that's that's like one of the number one examples in the Bible. Be careful what you ask for. Ooh. You know, he said, "Without giving me a blessing, you know, <laughs> bless me, Father, even, even me, me, even me, Father, bless you know, me." Be, be careful what you ask for. That's like top example right there. Because your blessing can be your curse, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's the old boy. He give you what you want now. Hey, as brothers say, that just that's the saying of the world. Be careful what you ask for. The Lord will give you what you want. You know, what you want can't destroy you. Begging for a woman, 
You know, oh, why would Christian Louis get that woman and she, she a fucking uh, uh, demon? Uh, demon. You, you'd rather be on the housetop. She, she, that, she that bitch on, I'm going to get you something. That's what you wanted, man. That's what you wanted. Did what you want. He gave, gave you what you want, man. You got to be careful. And so he saw, you got the world. You got you got everything you asked for. Everything you ever wanted is 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 is, is it's basically in the palm of your hands, man. Lord has given you authority. He he appointed you to power right now, man. That's it. But <laughs> you know what have you done? You 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 did nothing but rape, rob, murder. You know, mm -hmm. destroy the earth, and it's a it's a it's a payback for that, man. Yeah, righteous you know, payback. righteous payback, man. Y'all got it. <clears throat> this uh, Revelation six and four, and there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him. That set their own to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given into him a great sword. <coughs> and God said he's gonna set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. You know, he 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 has got his own people <laughs> with the same power that he desires to have the best of. Mm -hmm. Like it's funny how. The American Edomite and the Russian Edomite, they, they had the same power. Right. And they fighting over the same, like, won't y'all, y'all the same people, motherfucker. Right. Come together. Come together. They can't. Right. They can't do it. Right, but they'll point the can't. finger at Jake. They can't do it. <laughs> they'll point the finger at Jake and say, you niggas, you niggas, you know, here it is, you, 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 you arguing over uh, land that's not yours and. You 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 know over turf you they, they say right. they say Jake uh over over blocks. blocks and turf wars, but but look at you devils though man you motherfuckers is 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 basically arguing over land that's not yours over the earth that's not yours it wasn't given to you bastards man <laughs> and you bastards are what hey, hey hey you you really you know you're not sons of the Lord man you're a bastard and, and they show you <laughs> that he don't stand on the principles of the Lord. Because when the Lord was asking, uh, when the Lord was being asked how to get to the kingdom of heaven, right? Uh, he told him, love thy neighbor as thyself. Like, the, 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 the greatest thing is to love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. He hate his own people. You, you, there's no way for you to there's no way for you to survive. There's no way for you to sustain the kingdom on the earth. And you hate your own people. Right. Hey, it, hey, it says uh, uh, a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. Against itself cannot stand, man. So he's evil, man. This, this, this place is going down, man. It's going down quickly. You know, we're in that time, man. <laughs> we see it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, I got it. They really you got priest up. Nah, okay. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes, better known as Sirach chapter 10 and verse 4. Yep. It says, The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahweh and in due time he will <coughs> set over it one that is profitable. Right, starting with Yahweh Shai, man, and, and, and trickling down into the Lord's elect. Going back to that, uh, uh, what is that, Re Romans 8 and uh, 17, man. Yep, we're going to be joint heirs with the Lord, man. Okay, so we're we're in that time, man, where we're about to witness the, the downfall of our enemy, <coughs> Esau, Edom, and uh, uh, the Lord is about to come back and and take over what's rightfully his, man. You know, mm -hmm. this is this this is the time that we're living in, man. Read it again, Papa Kusha, bro. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes, better known as Sirach chapter ten and verse four. It says, it says, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And in due time, in he due will. Time, he will set, you got it. He will set over mm -hmm. it one that is profitable. One that is profitable, man. So, hey. Anything else? No. This is Luke <laughs> chapter 22. I just thought it's 28. This is Luke chapter 22, verse 28. And ye are they which shall continue with me in my temptations. Mm -hmm. And I appointed, I I appoint unto you a kingdom, 
as my father have appointed unto me, Ooh. that ye may eat and drink at my table in, the, in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging oh. the 12 tribes of Israel. My kingdom, you have a child's kingdom, <laughs> man. So, hey, hey, this 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 ain't up to Esau Edom on how long this thing lasts. He has no power. He has no authority, man. Yeah. It's all up to the, the heavenly father, Yahweh, and he's giving all that authority to Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. And then that, that goes all the way down to his men, with uh, uh, starting with the 144,000 elect, all the way down to the one-third, man. Yes, you yeah. know? And then, hey, also, the, the, the two-thirds of Israel. Israel, man, ultimately, man, we, we're going to be on top, man. Yep. We get the victory. Yeah, something bro, you want to say? I want to say, because um, we're basically fulfilling prophecy. You know, when Yahweh spoke, he spoke as if he, he spoke from a place of authority. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so when we speak, you know, like <clears throat> we're going into about being great. Right. You know, we're speaking at a place of authority. That's it. You know, of course, being humble, meek, lowly, mm -hmm. you know, fearing Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, but we. Through faith, believe that we're going to receive salvation if we continue in the Lord's temptations. You know, mm -hmm. we continue to endure. You know, yeah, endure to the end. He that endure from to the end. You know, and you take you take things day by day. I made it through the day. Yep. You know, you wake up in the morning, you thank the Lord that you can still remember His name, that you're still part of this yeah, ministry, yeah, it's still right, part it. of this fight. Man. You know, and our faith is that we are more than conquerors in Yahweh Shai. You know, nobody, you know, goes to the championship game with a loser mentality. Right. You know? Yeah. Most definitely, bro. Expecting to lose, man. We expect to win. That's it. Because we're on the winning team, man. We're on the right side, yep. you know, uh, uh, of uh, the Lord's judgment right now. Yep. Lord willing, we endure, you know? Yeah. That, <laughs> so, that expected in. That expected in, bro. Yep. yep. So, was that it? All right, so hey, with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson for the elect. Once again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, All right, double honors to the elders and apostles at GMS. Salutations and blessings to the Akamarana world, preaching and teaching this truth. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.